what's going on everybody? So as you see in front of me, we've got a whole bunch of different magazines, pouches, holders, everything for the AUG. So we're going to do this in one big go. We're going to talk about all these different uh, styles of mag pouches and holders for your AUG mags. And in the first half of the video, we're going to go over the tabletop version. Second part of the video, you're actually going to see me uh, at a EDC games and we're going to demo and run this equipment uh, live in action on live ammo and moving targets, some shooting some steel, and we'll see how the transitioning goes, how these hold up on belt clips, and we'll check that out when you get to see it. Alrighty, let's get this started. Well, starting off, if you guys are unfamiliar, this is a Steyr AUG uh, A3M1. This is the latest variant. Uh, it has a Steiner Optic 3, uh, three power scope system. Uh, I'm running the Enforce uh, WXL weapon light system. It's got throw levers, momentary switches, and pulsation. I've got a ton of Corvos Defense parts on here, including the extended mag release, I've got the case deflector. I've got Gearhead Works' QD receiver mount plug here. Mm, let's see, trying to think of some other goodies in this one that we haven't set up. Oh, Corvus Defense charging handle. It's actually multiple uh, positioning. So that's kind of my rifle setup at the moment. Uh, we are getting ready to change this. So in the first half of the video, you're going to see the rifle set up this way. And second part of the video, you're actually going to see this set up with a flat top rail system, a armor, and some battle sights. But that's later. So let's kind of lay this over so that we don't drop it. We're actually here to talk about different magazines and the companies that make them. And primarily about these mag pouches. So, as you can see, I'm pulling all the, the informational tags. Let's get into, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to show you the difference between a Steyr mag and a P mag. Now, in this AUG configuration, it is what they consider a standard. Uh, this is a non-NATO, so it takes a uh, proprietary Steyr magazine. Here recently, Magpul came out with actual Steyr AUG or SAI mags, and these are a U.S. replacement version for the Waffle mags. So, getting into this one, I've been testing these mags. We've been doing drop tests. We've been kicking them at the range. Been shooting these since August of 2020, and have yet to have a failure, failure to feed, failure to extract out of the mag. The mags have held up really, really well. Uh, this here is actually my oldest mag. As you can see, there's not much wear and tear showing on it yet. So we'll get into that one. And this is a Steyr AUG waffle mag. This is the original STG 77 style magazine. It also is called the SIA mag. So this is for your standard AUG, non-NATO. Now, your NATO magazines are strictly a AR-15 PMAG style design. That's the only difference uh, between these mags and those is, you know, hey, these are proprietary. They have a different ledge and hookup. And the other ones, the NATO version just uses AR mags. So if you want to see more info on that, check out some of my videos on the Steyr on the actual AUG, and you can dive deep into that area of stuff. Going into this one, uh, this here is actually a 10 round magazine. So occasionally, uh, I think I've filmed it, showed it a few times. I've been out hunting or I've talked about it. Uh, you know, state requirements for, you know, 10 round or take a 30 round. It has to have a, you know, follower. You can't load more into it. So, hey, hunting, 10 round mag. They do make them. They're just really expensive. This 42 round magazine cost is just as much as this 10 rounder. And the 10 rounder, you can buy two 30s. So, who knows? Market. Capitalism. Yay. Alrighty, so what you're here for is actually on these mag pouches to hold your AEG mags. So I've got four, let's see, uh, four or five different companies, um, depending on how you want to classify them. Uh, I have Kydex, and then I have two nylons. Uh, this particular nylon one 
is a bit different. Uh, these four are actually set up to run on your body. And this fifth one's actually designed to run on the gun. So we'll hold off on this one last. So let's put it over here to the side. We'll talk about it last. All right, getting into these. All these uh, mag pouches, we're just gonna start with a single company. I'll give you my first impressions. Guys, this is a tabletop. I have not got to run these in any type of competitions or games or in duty scenarios. Uh, this is strictly the tabletop start portion of it. At the end of the video or the second part of this video, we'll have actually had range time and uh, multiple rounds, multiple mags uh, used in these. And I'll give you my final opinion on them at that point. So just to give you a heads up, this is an initial, just a tabletop using these, checking them out, seeing how they're going to fit and f uh, function, and getting them set up for my body and my kit supply. So, this very first one uh, probably is one of my favorite or favorite ones. It is an actual uh, modern, war uh, modern warrior concealment Kydex mag. Uh, it is red. It's got some checkering or design featured into it, but the latch mechanism on the back actually has safety locks and when you hook it onto your belt, you can get this on and off real well. You can slip it in and out of a uh, chest rig and kit. You can lock this so it won't depress. So if you've ever seen me do EDC games or tactical setups, you know, we drop down one knee, get laid on your back, your body presses in into mags. And if you just have a belt clip, you can actually pop them off. But this one, uh, for, the most, for most of all these, I really like this mag uh, belt clip hookup that it actually locks out before you can depress it. It does have an adjustment all the way up to like a two and a quarter inch belt. You can pop out this little engagement and tighten it down to like an eighth inch belt if you need to. So men, women, uh, it'll work in your kit, it'll work in Molly. You can loop around, you can put little pieces of cardboard in, or belt. You can put little pieces of Velcro or, you know, regular nylon webbing behind it. It'll latch into it, you can adjust it. So I really do like this one. Uh, this here seems to be my favorite one so far. It works perfectly well with the 30 round mags. What I like is it actually works in both directions uh, for locking up on the mag. So if you wanna run the magazine in a rear uh, position, you know, due to the convex shape of it, or if you wanna run it forward, you can. So the mag actually fits. It likes both style mags. It does not have a preference to either one, which that's what I like a whole lot. Uh, you can insert, and I actually did this in a live stream a few weeks ago, you can put a 10 round mag in this, but if you do so, you will jam it way down in there and it becomes a real pain in the butt. So this mag, don't use on 10 rounders. Use it on 30s, use it on the 42s, it works. Even running that big 42 round mag, uh, with the extra inch, inch and a half out of it, it doesn't uh, doesn't want to fall out, doesn't want to fall out with the weight. So I like that one. That's a uh, Modern Warrior Concealment. They're based out of Richmond, Indiana, and you can check them out online. So next one we're going to get into is Gladius Holsters. Uh, you guys have seen me, I've used and actually own their pistol holster. So getting into this one, uh, Definitely on the tabletop side of it, um, it's okay. I, I'm not wild about it. I'm not totally ready to throw it off to the corner, but it's got some concerns that I don't really care for. Um, to start off, the mag only wants to load one way, and it wants to load facing a forward angle. So instead of being able to run the magazines backwards, you do have to run them forward uh, to stick to rotate the mag and go in. It, it'll go, but it doesn't want to seat all the way. And it really has a problem with doing it with a PMAG. Like, it just doesn't want to seat all the way. So when you consider it going in, it just won't go. So to give you an idea, that's all the way down. It just won't go any further. that way I don't know it just it doesn't want to click in either one of those directions I don't know why it just stops especially on the P so if you run into mag pools that's that issue for you know forward or rear movement on the mag 
The second thing I'm not really overly about is it's got this little tab on the back. And this is actually for once you've set your belt and this is against your body, this is supposed to be down or you're supposed to be able to get to it to, to release it. It actually pops the lock mechanism here on the bottom and then you can squeeze these two tabs in and open it. Well, as soon as you do so, as you see, this falls out. So if you do this out in the range or if you bump it and it falls off or it gets jerked off, you're going to lose this, which will become a problem here in just a minute. So once you've uh, lost your pull zip tab piece of nylon paracord, uh, this is open. The second thing I don't care for are the adjusters that are in this one. Uh, they just pop out way too easy. I've ended up actually having to heat these up just messing on the tabletop to uh, thicken them up just a little bit to reposition. It's got just as much room as the Modern Warrior does for adjustment. It's very similar in design on the on the mechanics of it but once you close this it does have a positive lockup but it's on each side so if you were to only get one side with the latch the other side's not and you can bend this and flick it and it will pop up as soon as you do that you're going to lose these little retentions for your belt width the bigger concern that i've had in just playing with this here in uh, in the office is once you lock this end, which is this security tab where that piece of paracord is supposed to go. You cannot get to this when it's against the body. You get up here trying to finagle it out. I ended up actually having to uh, strip and pull my belt off completely out of the holster to take it off uh, physically that way. I just couldn't quick detach it. I mean, is that a huge issue? Not not really. Once you normally you're, you're kitted up, you're going to go out, you're going to go do work or you're going to an event or something but that's the whole reason if if it wasn't meant to go over your belt and latch up and take off easily then just make this a solid design that you have to run your belt loop through don't don't make it complicated but i do not like how this sets up and there's no good way i haven't figured out if there's a way to pin this better it just loops in here and it's even a pain in the butt that once it falls out to stick it all back in here. So it actually goes over, hangs there, goes forward, and then it's meant to engage those cams. But as soon as you take it off, you know, if it's on your body this way, here we'll lock it up. Let me show you guys. So, you know, your body's against this, this is underneath. You, you pull this down, now you've pinched it, it just falls right off. So, Kind of a poor design, I think, for Gladius on this particular setup. Uh, we'll run it, we'll see how well it works, but that is a concern. So, let's engage this here. All right, so there's that one. Uh, just for a quickie, I'd say no to the Gladius. Uh, this is a uh, an A and R holster, uh, or actually an a, a ANR Designs. Uh, you can look them up. There's a, an Instagram forum. I like their logo. I like their idea. I don't know which exactly way it's supposed to go up. I just wish that it actually had their company marking on it or it had something, you know, written around the edge for their company so I could remember it. But once you found them, you'll know who they are. Uh, they build a bunch of different holsters. This will be my first one with them. Uh, like I said, this one's got a simple over, you know, uh, mechanical hook that goes into your belt loop. It is quick detach, just like any other paddle style that goes in there. Works all the way up to like inch and inch and three quarter, inch and five eighths belts. It's a little difficult on the big uh, 511 tactical belts. It, you gotta push it in there, your belt will taco just a little bit to get this on there, but it works and it holds. I've also noticed that their clip uh, and their design of how they've got the rubber grommets, if you hook this into your blue jeans, it'll hold. But this is actually designed for the 10-round mag. Get good positive retention on it. It is one direction only. Again, I, I kind of don't like that. I wish it worked in both directions, but it, it works. And the, and the lockup in it is great. You can load 30-round mags into it. They hold. And again, it's, it's got lockup. And the P-mag works in it just fine. 
you don't get the big click sound. The PMEG body is just a little bit wider, but it, it bites and it holds. You just don't get the click like you get out of in a waffle mag. Uh, the 42 round mag in this particular one uh, so far, it doesn't like it just because there's not enough body in this. It's really meant for the 10 round, maybe even a 20 round mag. But uh, for going out for hunting, if you want to keep an extra mag with you, I like it. It stays low profile. It really protects the magazine. It is also nicely uh, partially, you know, it's partially sealed on the bottom, but you can still get mud and water out if you were to get wet. It won't hold in there, but it's enough that if you get into thick mud, it actually won't get up inside uh, with, the, with the rounds. So you don't have to worry about filling up your mag. So I do like that so far. But there's that one. Uh, this mag would probably be my second choice. Uh, maybe not for the 20 rounders or the 42s, but definitely if you just needed one spare mag or a 10 round for hunting, uh, A&R Designs, you can check them out. And it seems to be pretty good. Uh, getting into the third one for your body. Uh, this is a wilderness uh, nylon webbing. It's a ripstoff material. It's not supposed to tear or do anything. It is Velcro. Now, I've had this one. This mag's actually been in and out of this holster for two weeks trying to get it to, to loosen up and to soften up a little bit to get to some design. The nylon that this is made out of really feels like firefighter clothes material. If you've ever, you know, held a firefighter's jacket or seen their pants, it's that super heavy material. It almost feels like there's, I don't want to say cardboard on the inside or a piece of aluminum, but the rigidity in the side of this, you're not really going to put a dent in it. What I don't care for so far in this is two weeks of leaving a magazine in this thing and it's still as tight as it was the day we pulled it out of the package um, once you stick this on your body and it's supposed to have multiple positions you can actually run this piece of velcro that's stitched on there uh, which is the holder for it you're supposed to be able to run it into a belt loop and then loop this back around so it'll sit this way on your body you can run it downwards so this will actually go inside and against the body what I found is due to this thing being so tight and, and wearing it with blue jeans and a 5.11 belt is you start to pull the Velcro and it tries to take the whole thing with it. It will not release the mag easily. I'm showing you guys, you know, two things. It does not want to go in easily. You kind of have to rock it like an AK mag to get it to go in. Guaranteed, if you ever have to run, this thing will never fall out I'm like it won't come off granted the kydex ones bite but I think if I tried to launch one across the room like a boomerang I could get one to come off this thing it won't come off so if you're gonna run this um, when I go to run it I'm just more concerned that I'm gonna rip the velcro loose from itself and it's got velcro on on each side and around the bottom. I'm just worried that it's going to be too tight that I'm not going to be able to get this off or it's going to be a one-time deal of getting it, you know, not going to be able to do mag changes real easily. It's going to be one-time one use. So that's that wilderness. We're going to keep leaving it in there to soften it up, but it works with the 20s, the 30s, and the 42 round mags. But uh, again, it's just some heavy, heavy nylon. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see on this one. I'm kind of uncertain. All right, so we've done that. Let's talk about this one. This is a military shop. This is actually from Europe, and this actually goes on the actual rifle itself. This, so it's not a body mount one. It actually goes on the rifle. I've got the 42 mag, 42 round mag in here to show you that it will accept one. Uh, it does like 30s better, and it doesn't matter if it's the 30 from Magpul or the standard AUG one. It's got this quick nylon bungee material. That's how you unloosen the mag. But we'll set it real quick up on this rifle. And I'll show you what it looks like. Let's take this around. Okay. 
Granted, I've had this on the gun before, so I've already got it set the first time. It's got some nylon or expansion material here to kind of loosen up. It goes around on the buttstock, and you can adjust how exactly how tight you want it. Let's see. There we go. I have to tighten it up a little bit more. So there, there we go. Uh, it looks like it gets in in the way of the mag release. I would say it would if you have your factory mag release still in your AUG that this might get in the way. But with the Corvos, the big butterfly, it doesn't. Um, just for anybody that's safety minded, that is a unloaded mag. We go in, we can still pop and pull the mag out. It still locks up. Now, we'll take this mag here and we're gonna throw it in. Let's lay it down. Now, this really isn't designed for a situation of you know carrying a mag and reinserting it. This is a backup mag for when you needed it. I would consider this to be more field work, military, law enforcement, security contractor, um, just to keep an extra mag with you. We're gonna loosen this up a little bit. The rear doesn't really hurt here into the end of your buttstock of getting into your shoulder. You actually don't realize it. It does sit up really close to your ejection window but it is shaped, as long as you run the mag in a down position, you can eliminate, you know, casings hitting it. But if you're not careful, it will tilt up and it's gonna get, it's gonna interfere with your ejection window. So do be mindful of that. But like I said, this is more set up for, you know, military, to, just to keep an extra mag with you. Uh, we're gonna run it, we're gonna try it, but it is set up really well. Like I said, it works for the mag. You can reach over, pull this one out and jerk it. You're not going to reload it anytime soon. It's just to have an extra mag on your gun. So I would consider this one for the truck or if you work in the field, hey, it's an extra 30, 30 rounds or 42 rounds on the gun. So we can try it out. We'll see how well it works. Well, guys, this is going to be part one. I'll see you on part two uh, when we're actually at the range and we're fielding this out. So until then, have a good one.